stay tuned because I have some excellent news. I'm so excited. In fact, I'm ecstatic. Right, week three, week three, week three. Week three. <coughs> it's my portable water bottle. Just a small sip. Right, week three. Made some notes again. Even underlined a few words, you see. Is it recording? Yep, good, right. Week three, Monday. This is gonna get irritating. Better. Right. Monday, week three, move to new Airbnb accommodation. And these are great people. Uh, the hosts are Andy and Sally, Andy and Sal, Sal and Andy. They're really cool and the area is great and the house is really nice and the room is really cool. Um, great size, it's been great staying here. I've stayed here the whole week. Got here on Monday. Um, you may remember actually I stayed here two days last week because I mentioned Sal and Andy in my previous video and this is actually the area where I had my most expensive meal the eight pound pizza that was on special yeah so I'm back at that house for this week this is what the houses look like in the area I'll put the imagery over here this is what your average homes look like in this area and then at the end of the street yeah a giant church I meant to actually have a look at when this church was built it doesn't look like a recently built church, <laughs> but then I'm no architect. Right, so Monday, moved here, then had a couple of hours to go through all of my notes um, that I had made because on Monday afternoon, I had a telephonic interview for a job. Ooh, just kicked the water bottle. Uh, had a telephonic interview for a job that uh, I actually started interviewing for back in South Africa. I found this job online in November. November. Applied and first was a telephonic interview with the recruiter. And then the recruiter referred me to the company and then had to do an online aptitude workplace test with the company and pass that. Good. So then the next stage was once I got here, uh, I would do a telephonic interview to secure a face-to-face -face interview with the employer. So it was supposed to happen last week, but um, my new number wasn't updated on their system and there were some cross lines, so it didn't end up happening. I was a bit bleak about that. So I had to wait until Monday this week. So Monday afternoon, I had my telephonic interview and that went really well. That was a 40 minute uh, call. Um, that went well and at the end of the call they make you go on hold whilst they mark all your answers like obviously against a style guide that they have mark the answer she got back to me she said great you've passed the telephonic interview so the next stage is the face-to-face -face interview and we have an appointment available on wednesday afternoon at three o'clock if you're interested so i said absolutely uh so wednesday face-to-face -face was scheduled three o'clock with this company. That was all I did on Monday, really. Tuesday, um, didn't actually do much on Tuesday. Then came Wednesday. So, Wednesday, research about the company, preparing for the face-to-face -face interview on Wednesday afternoon. I got there half an hour early. Turin is changing his ways. They did say to me that I should expect, or that I should schedule in three hours allowance for the face-to-face -face interview. 
So it wasn't three hours. I think we were done in about an hour and a half. Basically what it was is they asked me a whole lot of more questions about myself, previous work experience, um, what I would do in different situations, what I like about the company, what do I know about the company. Um, that's why I had to do research. And then I had to do a role playing exercise as well. And I really think that went well, um, especially considering the response from the one lady that was interviewing me was, that was brilliant. So I kind of deduced from that that it was brilliant. Then they said that they had to go and take all of my responses and once again mark it against the style guide and they would let me know. They would send the results to the head office and the head office would let me know in the next 48 hours. So that was Wednesday afternoon. Um, finished in the evening, got back here. Uh, Thursday, pretty much like Tuesday. Didn't do much on Thursday. Friday, oh, Friday. <laughs> Woke up and about an hour later, got a phone call from the head office. Hi, you've been accepted for the job. Congratulations. <laughs> you see, so excellent news. I got the job. Yes, but stay tuned because there's more exciting news on the way. Oh, yeah. You see what I did there? It's a teaser. Right. Read through the contract on the bus of all places. Um, on my way into the city center, it's all electronic. I already had a profile on like the candidate website. So they just load my contract onto the website, read through the contract on the bus, everything was okay. Clicked accept, yes, I accept at the end. In fact, if there was a booyah button, I would have clicked that as well, just to emphasize how excited I was that I had the job. Initially, the start date was the 9th of February, but they're so keen to get started that they're having a training session that's starting on the 26th of January. So next week, Monday, if you're watching this on Monday, next week, Monday, I start my job. Yeah, in a week, I start working full time in England. So what's the job that you got? I hear you asking. Uh, I'm going to be an inbound customer services agent for a holding company of insurance companies in England. The company is called Direct Line Group and they are huge and they're listed on the London Stock Exchange, Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange. It's gonna be shift-based work, so I could work any time between eight o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night. And I think I get one weekend off a month, but I only ever work five days a week. So maybe I'll get like one week, I'll get the Monday, Tuesday off, then I'll get the Wednesday, Thursday off, then I'll get the Thursday, Friday off or something. And then I'll get the Saturday and Sunday off once a month, 37 and a half hours a week. And that's the job. I think I'll put the link in the description below to the company's website so you can see who they are and what they're about and all that lovely stuff. Yeah. Turin turns the page to find out what else he has written down. Then came Saturday. After the euphoria of, yeah, I have a job, came, right, I don't have anywhere to live, so let me get on that. Is it still recording? You are joking. Oh, it is still recording. Okay, good. I thought it had stopped recording. I almost lost my cool there, boo. I almost lost my cool, but I checked myself before I wrecked myself, okay? Saturday, I spent the whole day looking at rentals. I was on Gumtree. Gumtree is huge in the UK. I actually posted this on my Facebook. You might have seen it. Um, this person was either very honest when they were advertising their room or they don't care too much for checking their spelling. Yeah, so if anyone's looking for a single bad room, you know who to call. So Saturday, literally I spent the whole day in front of my laptop trying to find a place to rent in Bristol that was going to be in budget and that was not basically a dive or a dump and that it was furnished already because I don't have furniture. A lot of criteria that I had to go through. I eventually narrowed it down to a few, booked a few viewings, the first of which was at 10.30 on Sunday morning. That was actually the one that I was most excited about. It seemed the best value. It was awesome because it had a double bed and it had a wardrobe in it and the room has just been freshly decorated and the furniture is new and the price was great and the area was good and it was convenient with the bus route and everything looked good with this one. And I just got a good vibe. I had spoken to the landlord over the phone, not, not 
uh, via message. I'd actually spoken to him and he sounded like a decent guy. So I was excited about that one, okay? That was the first one that I was going to go and see today. Who is messaging? Don't they know that I'm making a video? Honestly, who is messaging? This morning, Sunday, went to the first property, thought, this is brilliant. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, it's basically a house share, so um, there will be myself in the house and three other, three other house mates. Yeah, um, so four of us in total. And liked it so much, said goodbye to the landlord and said to him I was going to go and have a think. And walked around in the area, walked to the local shops, got a vibe for the area, sussed out the area, you know, and thought, okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. So that is the second installment of the excellent news, the exciting news that I'm ecstatic about, is that I have a place to live. I have accommodation. Very exciting. So, uh, yeah. I am actually moving in tomorrow, being Monday. So if you're watching this on Monday, I'm moving in today. I could be moving in right now. If you're watching this at 11 o'clock on Monday, I'm moving in right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This week, I hardly did anything, but what I did was, I, had wrote, I wrote this word down. Oh yes, significant. I hardly did anything this week, but what I did was significant. I got myself a job, I signed a contract for a full-time job in England, and I found a place to live, and I'm moving in tomorrow. Here's a picture of the outside of the house. That's all I'm going to be showing you, because my detective skills, my uh, future-telling skills, determine that my video for week four will be very much week four. That looked like a five, so I'll do it again will be very much centered around my new accommodation and my housemates and the area. So I won't be telling you too much about the house. So that's it. Now, oh, let me tell you, this, this, uh, I make decisions in a very strange way sometimes. And this really uh, was a bit of a cherry on top for me. I'll be living in Bloomfield Road in Brislington in Bristol. And Take a look at the name of the road that is the nearest corner to the house, okay? Do I have to move out to the side? Yeah. So, this is the name of the nearest road. I mean, look at that. Conway? Causeway. Conway? Causeway. We're like one letter apart, okay? And to top it off, have a look at the end of the sign. That's a T. That's my initial. T Conway? T Causeway, T Con, I mean, it's meant to be. It is meant to be, I tell you. Yeah, so I'm renting a house because of the name of the nearest street. That's what I based all my decisions on. Not, calm down, yeah. So, that's it. That's, that's all the news I have for the week. I'm really sorry that my videos are so long and I'm sorry for the bad quality of that video. I realized I should have put the lights on like I usually do, but I'm in a different place, so I forgot to do that. But next week, I promise I'll try and remember to put the lights on when I do my week four video. Thank you so much for watching my Living in England video, guys. I really appreciate it. Week three of Living in England, done. Mm -hmm.